Any picture or text could be inject printed as a solar cell using the method developed in Alto University, Finland. Solar cells have been manufactured already for a long from inexpensive materials with different printing techniques. Especially organic solar cells and disensitized solar cells are suitable for printing. The researchers wanted to take the idea of printed solar cells even further and see if their materials could be inject printed as pictures and text like traditional printing inks. When the light is absorbed in an ordinary ink, it generates heat. A photovoltaic ink, however, converts part of that energy to electricity. The darker the color, the more electricity is produced because the human eye is most sensitive to that part of the solar radiation spectrum which has highest energy density. City. The most efficient solar cell is therefore pitch black. The idea of a colorful patterned solar cell is to combine also other properties that take advantage of light on the same surface such as visual information and graphics. For example, installed on a sufficiently low power electrical device, this kind of solar cell could be part of its visual design and at the same time produce energy for its needs. With inject printing, the photovoltaic die could be printed to a shape determined by a selected image file and the darkness and transparency of the different parts of the image could be adjusted accurately. The inject dyed solar cells were as efficient and durable as the corresponding solar cells prepared in a traditional way. They endured more than 1000 hours of continuous light and heat stress without any signs of performance degradation. The dye and electrolyte that turned out to be best were obtained from the research group in the Swiss University. The most challenging thing was to find suitable solvent for the dye and the right jetting parameters that gave precise and uniform print quality. The research results opened up new possibilities for development of decorative product and building integrated solar cells.